the tent stop. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're getting ready for today's story, and it's all about a baby that... Today's story is all about a baby that... I think I'd better see what's going on. Go to sleep, my baby. Close your sleepy eyes. Wake up in the morning. You'll get a big surprise. Oh, still wide awake. Oh, hello, Robin. I can't get my doll to go to sleep. Have you tried rocking her to sleep, Poppy? Oh, no, I haven't. Do you think it'll work? It's worth a try. Right. Oh, no, stop, Poppy, stop. But you'll never get her to sleep like that. Mm. You have to be very gentle with babies. Ew. Have you tried singing to her? Oh, yes, I have, yes. Listen. Go to sleep, my baby. Close your sleepy eyes. Mm. I think I can see why your baby isn't going to sleep, Poppy. <laughs> hello, Poppy. Hello, Robin. Oh, hello, Peggy. I can't get my doll to go to sleep, Peggy. Mm. I've tried everything. Oh, can I have a go? Oh, go on, then. There, there. Go to sleep. Good night. There you are. She's asleep now. Oh, that was clever, Peggy. Wasn't that clever, Robin? Hmm? That was what you forgot to do, Poppy. Mm. You didn't give your baby a good night kiss. No, oh, I'll remember next time. Hmm? I'd better go and see if we're ready for the story. I'll see you two later. See you later, Robin. Bye. I think today's story has a baby in it, Poppy. Who oh, has it? What's the story about? It's about a baby that doesn't want to go to sleep like your baby. Oh, what's it called? It's called Baby Don't Cry. <laughs> be the babysitter just in time. Hello, come in. Hello. He's just dropped off to sleep. Oh, right. Oh, look. Fast asleep. What a little darling. Well, you won't hear another peep out of him all night. I've got to go, because I'm going to the circus tonight. Oh. Well, here's the telephone number. Just call me if you have any problems. And if he does wake up, try him with his bottle. Right. OK. okay. Off you go. Thanks. Don't worry about a thing. I won't. I'll look after the baby. Bye. Bye. Where's your bottle? Hmm. Oh, baby, don't cry. Shh. I've rocked you. I've given you your bottle. What else can I do? I know. I'll phone my friend, the clown. Yeah, she's good with children. She'll help. What a little darling. Baby, don't cry. What you need is something to laugh at. <laughs>
won't hear another peep out of him all night. I must go. <coughs> Baby, don't cry. Oh dear, well, what shall we do? You've rocked him and given him his bottle and I've made him laugh. I know. I'll call my friend the singer. He's very good with children. He'll help. No, I've blocked him. I've given him his bottle. And I've made him laugh. Ow! What a little darling! <laughs> hey, baby, don't cry. You know what this baby needs is a lullaby. <laughs> Check this! Rock, rock a bye, baby. On the treetop. Treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Down will come baby cradle and all. Follow me. Rock, rock a bye, baby. Hush, don't you weep. We're trying everything to get you to sleep to sleep you've had your bottle and the clown made you smile and hey i've even sung to you now for a while, a while. there you go and you won't hear another peep out of him <laughs> i must go Dear, what shall we do? You've given him his bottle and you've rocked him and you've made him laugh. And I've sung to him. I know. I'll call my friend the magician. She's very good with little children. Yeah, she'll help. I've rocked him. I've given him his bottle. And I've made him laugh. Uh, and I've sung to him. Oh, what a little darling. Oh, baby, don't cry. Shh. What this baby needs is to see some magic tricks. <laughs> You won't hear another peep out of him all night long. Now, I must go. Oh, baby, don't cry. Oh, dear, what shall we do? You have rocked him and given him his bottle. You have made him laugh. And you have sung to him. And I have shown him some magic tricks. I know. We had better call his mother. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> What a lot of people! What are you all doing here? Oh, thank heaven you've arrived! That the baby won't stop crying. 
Tina, I've rocked him and given him his bottle, and I've made him laugh. And I've sung to him. And I have shown him some magic tricks. Oh, we, we don't, don't know, know what to do. We, we tried, tried everything. everything. Oh. oh, hush, my little darling. Baby, don't cry. What this baby needs is a big hug. Rock, rock a bye, baby. In mother tongue, you'll fall asleep. Now you're safe and warm. You're feeling sleepy now that you're snug. Not a bit till morning. Now you've had your We won't hear another peep out of him all night. Oh, goodbye. Thank you for your help. Looks like we've all had an entertaining evening. <laughs> goodbye. Thank you. Treetop. That baby didn't want to go to sleep, did he? No, mm. not until it had been cuddled. Perhaps he was wondering where his mum had got to. Mm. Well, he might have been, but it is very nice to have a hug or a cuddle. No, I'll have to be stroked myself. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I love being stroked. <laughs> it's the same as being hugged or cuddled. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. Makes you feel all sorts of safe. Mm. Hello. Mm. Hello, you two. Hello. Are we stroking Poppy? Yes, we mm. are. Yes, Catherine. Yes. Poppy likes to be stroked. I like to be cuddled. Well, there's a hug for you, Peggy. Yes. <laughs> did you two like the story? Oh, yes, I did. I especially liked the bit where they were trying to get the baby to go to sleep. Oh, yes, so did I. I like stories about sleeping. Hey, Peggy, well, I've got something that'll help you sleep. Do you, um, your guitar, the music. I know. It's a song. Yeah, that's right. But it's a special sort of song. One that helps you get to sleep. Do you know what that's called? A boring song. I, I know. No, 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 not a boring song. What is it, Peggy? I know. Is it called a lullaby? Yes, it is. Shall we hear it? Mm, yes, yes please. please. Right, I'll need some help, though, okay? Shall I call Robin to help? Yes. Robin! Robin! Shh, shh, not so loud. No one will get to sleep with that racket going on. <laughs> I'll sign it for you. Right, here we go, then. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that ring is made of brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass Papa's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat don't fall, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover don't fall, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. If that horse and cart falls down, who'll be the sweetest little boy in town? We'd better go and start packing up. Bye. Okay, see you yeah. later. Bye bye. That lullaby's baby sleep. And me, Peggy. But then that's what a lullaby's for to help you to go to sleep. But I'm not asleep yet, though. Hmm, no. David. Yes, Poppy? Could we have another story, please? All right, then what about this one? Good night, Grandma Bear. Oh, yes, please. Yes. All right, then. <clears throat> it's time for bed, said Daddy Bear to little Baby Bear, who was playing with his toys on the floor. But I'm not sleepy, said little Baby Bear. But he yawned, a great big yawn. <sighs> <clears throat> now, said Daddy Bear, give me a hug and off you go to your cosy little bed. So little Baby Bear climbed into his Daddy's arms, hugged him tight and fell fast asleep. Daddy Bear put him in his little bed. Oh, 
You look sleepy, said Mummy Bear to Daddy Bear as he came down the stairs. But I'm not sleepy, said Daddy Bear. But he too yawned a great big yawn. <sighs> now, give me a hug and off you go to your cosy bed, said Mummy Bear. So Daddy Bear hugged Mummy Bear, climbed the stairs, got into his bed, yawned, and fell fast asleep. <laughs> yes. David, oh. Bill, Peggy, mm. David's fallen oh, asleep and he hasn't finished the story. What should we do? Well, well Robin could read to us. Oh, yes, we'll call her. Yeah. Rob, David. Hello? Bill, Robin, David's fallen asleep and he hasn't finished reading the story. He must be tired. All right, here goes. You look sleepy said Grandma Bear to Mummy Bear as she settled down to read her book. But I'm not sleepy yet, said Mummy Bear. But she yawned a great big yawn. <sighs> mm. Give me a hug and off you go to your cosy bed, said Grandma Bear. So Mummy Bear hugged Grandma Bear, climbed the stairs and yawned. Oh, got into her cosy bed and fell asleep. Oh. Gil, no. Oh. Now Robin's fallen asleep. Mm. Catherine! Catherine! <laughs> Catherine! Yes? No, so, Catherine, Robin and David have fallen asleep and they haven't finished the story. Would you please? All right, I'll finish it. Thank you. Then Grandma Bear yawned, a great big yawn. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm sleepy now, said Grandma Bear, as she put away her knitting. But I shall never get to sleep unless someone can give me a great big hug. And everyone is fast asleep. But then the door pushed open. And there stood little baby Bear in his striped pajamas. I need another hug, Grandma, said baby Bear. And he yawned a sleepy yawn. <laughs> baby Bear climbed into Grandma's arms. And he hugged her tight and said, good night. And in the twinkling of an eye, they both fell fast asleep. The end. Do <laughs> oh, thank you. That was lovely, Catherine. Wasn't it, Peggy? Oh, now everyone's fallen asleep. So that leaves me to pack up the play tent. I'll have to do it by myself. They will. Till next time. Goodbye. <laughs>